So in this video, I want to talk about how lucid dreaming has really changed my life and you know, kind of the personal experiences that I've had with it and how it's really done a lot. You know, it's, it's been there for, for me for a lot of things, but specifically it's kind of been a gateway to some other things, which I will explain in this video. If you're wondering why I'm looking around like crazy, it's because the puddles on the mud are literally frozen. <laughs> So I have to kind of watch where, where I step. And it's also really cold. So lucid dreaming for me started when I was young, when I was a kid, and I would use it as kind of like an escapism. I really didn't like school or um, really any of the education system, college, school, primary school, high school, whatever. Really didn't like it, didn't get on with it. And so lucid, and, uh, so lucid dreaming was basically escapism for me. And you know, nothing wrong with that. A lot of people use it for that. And, but what happened is it led me on to uh, other things. It led, it led me down the path of exploring spirituality and consciousness and, on, and to really learning more about the human brain, reality, everything really, just to dive into how reality works and to learn and research so many things that without lucid dreaming, I wouldn't have really considered, or at least, <laughs> I mean, who knows, right? But it probably would have taken me you know, a lot longer years probably longer to even start to ask these questions and think about these things so i owe i owe lucid dreaming a lot but there's been other things that it's helped me with as well so like uh, for example when i learned how to drive i was able to pass my test significantly faster because what i would do is i would actually practice you know what i would learn in the test i would practice it in a lucid dream and so what ended up happening was i passed my test a lot faster than i would have done and uh, my instructor was quite surprised. So obviously that's like a surface level thing. That's not that profound, really. You could just say, well, maybe I had a natural kind of knack for driving, or maybe I was just good or applied myself, maybe. But really, I think it's more than that. I think it's to do with the studies, right? I mean, there are studies that show if you practice something in a lucid dream, you improve faster than if you just did it in waking life, you know? There are limits to that. You can't obviously learn new things completely new things without having done them a little bit in waking life as far as I'm aware but I mean even that you know who's who's to say that that is the absolute limit you know we have done so little research on lucid dreaming and altered states of consciousness that there's really who is there to say really what is the limit or what is possible and this is one of the problems I have with lucid uh, discord is that they're so closed-minded in thinking that if it hasn't been proven in a lab it's misinformation to even claim that it's possible or that somebody has done it <laughs> and you know we got into a few little debates with the discord community about that but anyway that's neither here nor there back to the point you can use lucid dreaming to do all kinds of things and i have in my life used it to uh, improve confidence right get motivation and a lot of the things in my life i, I haven't really shared much about my life like my personal life on this channel because I didn't think you guys would really be that, that interested you know you just want to hear techniques and stuff but a lot of my life the things I've done you know running companies traveling seeing the world becoming a digital nomad manifesting owning a house all of these you know things that I've been able to do uh, a lot of them I would attribute to if you know if, if you work back far enough if you work back far enough it would probably be to lucid dreaming because that was a real thing that helped me to realize that it was possible to do something different than what you're programmed to do. I hope that makes sense, you know, because let's say in the education system, you're told, okay, you need to do this, get a job, work for somebody else, and then hopefully one day you can retire, but probably not. And maybe you'll have some money, but again, probably not. And if you study really hard, you can get that. <laughs> and also you'll go into debt for it. You know, that never appealed to me. And it was lucid dreaming that inspired me and gave me the motivation to question things obviously first just to question the dream state you know are you dreaming or not that's the basic basic stuff but then also beyond that you know you kind of bring something back with you when you have a lucid dream and then you you kind of bring this thing back with you to the real world if you can even call it that and that's this kind of like this sense that you can do anything this kind of belief in yourself you know this undying belief that you can do anything you set your mind to do and that's something which you know after having a lot of conversations with people different areas of life different journeys i realized that that's not something that everybody has this undying belief that if you want to do something you can do it apparently that's not that that's not that common actually a lot of people have uh, doubts limiting beliefs and blocks you know they have literally like programming which says, no, you can't do that, that's not possible. I have these 
kind of moments quite often where I realize, oh yeah, that's not actually, it's not common, you know? Most people actually don't believe in themselves. And, you know, all of this to say, I'm not, I'm not trying to say, look at me, I'm so amazing because I don't doubt myself. No, it's quite the opposite. I'm saying, you know, I think there is an easy way to stop doubting yourself and that is to do what I did. Learn lucid dreaming. I mean, that's why you're here, right? And apply it. And once you get good enough, like once you start really bending the rules of the dream space, you realize that actually what you thought wasn't possible is actually possible. And then you bring that same mindset back to waking life and you start to do things that previously you would not have thought was possible, you know? Like in a dream, let's say for example, I would be walking down a road. They, were, they always start with walking down a road somehow. And before I learned how to lucid dream, if somebody, let's say, I don't know, br um, tried to like force me into a, a doorway or something, I would have just been, okay, fine. And then maybe a nightmare would have started, whatever. But after lucid dreaming, I can decide how to take that. I can decide, do I want to go in this door? And if not, I just stand there. And obviously you have infinite strength or you can have infinite strength in a lucid dream. So, you know, and you take the same mindset with you to waking life. The traditional path says, you know, you can go on holiday, let's say once a year or twice a year if you're lucky for a week, but only if you ask permission and fill out a holiday form. And if you want any longer than that, it's unpaid. This is the, the problem I have with jobs, right? Well, one of many problems. Whereas when you bring the lucid dreaming mindset back to waking life, you start to think, hold on a second. Do I really want to do that? Is this my choice? Do I really want to work for somebody else and pay the highest rate of tax as an employee and be told what to do told when, if, and where I can go on holiday and what time I have to be in the office. Do I want that? And for most people, of course, the answer is no. <laughs> and so lucid dream, the lucid dream mindset really helps with that because it helps you to see the alternatives. And by the way, if you're interested in that, I do actually have a new membership, which I just launched called the Freedom Tribe, which is over on Astral HQ. Links in the description, I think. If not, it's astralhq.com slash freedom tribe. And that teaches you how to really kind of take back control and decide how you earn your income. You can decide, you know, what do you want to do? What kind of skills you have, let's say, and how to monetize them, how to turn them into a, an online course, let's say a video, bid, a business, articles, um, and set things up, how to set things up in a way that it's passive, automated. You don't have to trade your time for money. Anyway, this is not really for this channel. This is, I'm kind of waffling about. Um, but yeah, so going back full circle now, the lucid dreaming mindset is something which I really have taken into many areas of life, not just the dream space and not just, oh, you'll feel a little bit confident when you come back to the waking world. No, I've taken the same skills you learn in a lucid dream, right? Which is really awareness. That's the big one, right? Awareness of what you're doing. But when you're consciously aware of your life, what you're doing, you then have the power to question it and to say, is this what I want? Do I want this experience? You know, just like in a dream, right? You become lucid and you, you can then ask yourself, okay, do I want to be doing this? Whatever the dream is, right? And if you don't, you have the power to change it. Same thing with waking life. You bring the conscious awareness to your life and you ask yourself, do I want to be doing this? Is this what I enjoy? And if, it's, if the answer is no, then you can change it and you have the power to change it. And you also believe that you can change it because you've had the experience of changing dream scenes. It's almost the same thing. It's almost the same thing. It works the same way. The first thing is the awareness, being aware of it, right? Because most dreams, when you're not lucid, are kind of on autopilot, same as most lives. Most people are on autopilot. They don't really know what they're doing or why they're doing it. They're just doing it usually because of programming or really just a lack of awareness. They've never bothered or never tried or never known they could change the awareness of what they're doing. So that's what happens. Anyway, so like you can see, there are many benefits to lucid dreaming that go far beyond just, I can now decide where to walk, for example. So yeah, have a play with that. Don't just be limited in the dream. And even once you've become lucid, a lot of people even then limit themselves to just the basics, the things that they think they want to do, again, based on programming. Things like flying around, having sex, exploring, maybe you like 
steal a car and drive it around maybe like you've seen in a, a video game or something maybe you get into a fight with some alien do you really want to do these things of course you might you might actually want to yeah and that's fine but ask yourself you know is there anything else i want to do what else could i do anyway that's it for this one thought i'd keep it a bit short and i hope you don't mind these little walking videos i got a new camera recently so hopefully i can make more stabilized videos where it's not all bumpy and you can actually still hear me so let me know what you think and i'll see you next time